if you've been told that you may have a pharyngeal pouch. Essentially, this is a hernia at the back of your throat, whereby food can get stuck in there. Typically, uh, people regurgitate that food, cough it up, sometimes worse at night. Occasionally, it can stop you swallowing or cause bad breath. I see a lot of people with this problem. There are a range of treatments for it. For many people, the first treatment can be done endoscopically through the mouth. And in that way, we try to open up the pouch so that rather than removing it, instead of the food getting stuck in there, it can flow down into your stomach. That works very well for most people. However, there are those people who I see who've had previous unsuccessful staplings. Occasionally, there can be technical reasons why it's not possible to do the procedure endoscopically. In which case, a small incision on the side of the neck, find the pouch and surgically remove it offers an excellent outcome. Um, the pouch is then gone and, we've, and I've recreated a smooth swallowing uh, tube in which food can pass down. In all instances, both procedures would be done under a general anaesthetic. The risks are essentially the same for both procedures, although the, the, the weight of risk differs slightly. With the endoscopic approach, I would hope that you would be in and out on the same day. There is a small risk of chipping your teeth, and the biggest risk is that uh, making a hole in the pouch itself. Now, I must say that's, that's a low risk, but if it does happen, it would keep you in hospital for longer. However, I would expect you to be discharged later the same day. The swallowing would be uh, a little bit sore for a couple of days, and I'd suggest you had a soft diet for a number of days. If we had to do an open operation, then I do keep you in overnight. The following day, I check that everything is, healed, is sealed off with an x-ray swallow test. But assuming that is the case, then you'd be discharged from hospital and you would go home uh, again on a soft diet. The risks are the same, chipping your teeth while I find the pouch. And there is a risk of making a hole in the pouch. And there's also a nerve that runs quite close to the pouch itself. Now, while I spend a lot of time trying to prevent any uh, of those complications, they can occasionally occur. But for most people, these are people typically who've had failed endoscopic attempts uh, in the past and still have symptoms, uh, then they, their swallowing is much better afterwards.